It's the PDP Stakeholders Forum has accused the acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Umar uh, Damagu, of allegedly receiving the sum of $2 million for the party to allow the lawyers of the FCT minister, Nguyen Sinwiki, to file secret uh, processes to stop the court from declaring vacant the seats of the 27 members of the River State House of Assembly who left the PDP to APC. The group alleged that Umar uh, Damagu uh, received the money along with the PDP national legal advisor on behalf of the National Working Committee of the party. Now, in a statement by the publicity secretary of the group, Malam Abubakar Issa, it alleged that one of the members of the National Working Committee, who was privy to the deal, confided in him that though he has received his own share of the money, he was not happy with the way the party was drifting. Issa further alleged that the processes will be filed by Dr. Joshua Musa San as a well, a well known Wikis uh, lawyer on behalf of PDP and will vehemently uh, maintain that the court should not sack the law, River's lawmakers who uh, defected to another political party in violation of the law. And now joining us on the news is engineer uh, Libosi Yamabana, and he's a chairman, River State Ethnic Youth Leaders Coalition, and he joins us now to discuss this further. Uh, welcome, Libosi. Uh, this gets started very quickly. The PDP Stakeholders Forum has accused the acting national chairman, that's Umar uh, Damagum, and the national legal advisor of receiving $2 million dollars to allow the lawyers of the FCT minister, and that's Nyos and Wiki, a former governor of River State, to file secret court uh, processes. How credible do you find these allegations, you know, and uh, what impact could they have on the PDP's, you know, internal stability and even public image? Well, thank you very much. Uh, I want to say that, start by saying, an adage that says that once beaten, twice shy. We were in this nation just recently when the PDP national leadership, I mean the National Working Committee, set up caretaker with instruction that those that will make up the caretaker membership will be the already existing structure that even in the place of death, nobody should be replaced. But when it came to the case of River State, the list was infiltrated with those that were not up initial executives of the party. Until now, the national leadership of PDP is still treating that with levity. It means the party was approbated and reprobated which is very, very sad. And this has to do with, this, this, this took us to where stakeholders were calling for the resignation and all the removal of the acting chairman during the NEC meeting. And to our test chagrin too, that did not sail through. And there has been allegations pounded all over the party have not, they have not said it in mistakable terms. They've said it in unmistakable terms that the man behind all of these shenanigans is the former governor of River State, whom we don't know if he is a member of the PDP or APC at the moment. And you see, this is a party that I contested election under in the last, in the last uh, election during period. I ran for House of Reps. I know what happened to me, consequence to this same man, His Excellency, the former governor of River State, perpetrated under this same uh, 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 party, you know. But we are trying to see how we can rebuild the party because I'm also a stakeholder of the party. But every day, when we make one, one positive move, Damagom led leadership will take us back you know, uh, to the dungeon, which is not healthy for this party, because this party is determined to reclaim this nation from the uh, opposition party, because ordinarily they were the leading party. So if we continue like this, I do not see that dream coming through anytime soon. I, I can't see it, because Nigerians are watching. The entire globe, you know, is watching. And how did we get to this crossroads?
Assuming we are already in this crossroad, why can't the leadership of the party be decisive in uh, you know, taking steps that to restore the lost glory, the seeming lost glory uh, of the party? That said, the issue of river states, we want to also reiterate that rivers people in PDP, we are not going to accept that list. I don't know why the Dili Dali, they right. have to do the right thing in respect to that scenario. Like, but see, uh, then gonna, the accusation uh, like, by see, stakeholders... I'm, I'm stop you there for a second and ask you this. You just referred to the members of the PDP, right? So the accusations uh, suggest there's been accusations of, uh, just to get this right, a, uh, an alleged secret uh, court processes aimed to prevent the court, you know, from declaring the seats of the... 27 are defected Rivers uh, State House of Assembly members vacant, right? Now, these accusations suggest a significant rift uh, within the PDP, right? With some members alleged, you know, allegedly being prioritizing you know, personal gains over uh, party unity. Uh, how serious is this eternal conflict within the PDP? Um, since you just said you're a stakeholder, you're also a member and also ran under the, under the umbrella of uh, the party. What are the potential long-term consequences for the party if these uh, divisions are not resolved? The, the consequences is already <laughs> around us. You know our, one of our former leaders, Emeka Ijoha, he has resigned from the party with a, an avalanche of other uh, stakeholders in the Southeast. You know, those are the consequences. And for the fact that the governor of River State is a man with, that has principle, a man with very high level and, uh, of impeccable integrity, for the fact that he's keeping quiet by way of not coming publicly and speaking to them to do the right thing and they are refusing. You know, I mean, they are, they are taking him for granted because if he decides to leave, this state that is known as PDP states since the inception of democratic dispensation, I tell you that if Fubara leaves the party, the party will never win this state again. Not in any other ele or official election. I can tell you because I am on the ground. Because Governor Fubara controls the cream de la cream of rivers uh, uh, people, and especially the young people. The youth are, are, are in support of the governor. You can see it manifest in the solidarity works and times given that went across the states, where young people, both elders and uh, uh, women alike, came out spontaneously to give this governor support. This governor is on the ground. So PDP may be digging their grave if they don't listen to points of good reasoning. By allowing the governor, who is the leader of the party in the state, you know, manage the party to, the, to, to its glory. Because what they are doing, to me, is, is purely a shenanigan. I think just like uh, people are now accusing them of collecting money, we don't have any doubt to discontinuance that accusation because of the precedent that they have laid. Otherwise, why would you not want to correct a list the way you had up initially directed it to be? Speaking is it of the fear of one man? Is one man more than the party? Uh, speaking of allegations, right, uh, the FCT minister and also former governor uh, of uh, River State, and that's in Yosem Wiki, is allegedly in involved in the scheme to prevent the court from, you know, declaring the seats that are, that are vacant and is said to be positioning himself to regain control of River State's political landscape. What are uh, Wiki's motivations and objectives in this scenario? And how might his actions influence his, you know, standing within the PDP and Nigeria's uh, politics uh, as a whole? We had a total call on the party to sack Wiki from that party because Wiki is no longer a member of the party. This is a man that has told Nigerians that in 2027, he will support uh, uh, Tinubu. We are not against that because the governor of River State is also supporting Tinubu. But is it indeed? Is it just in words? Is it really indeed? Can he match those words with actions? Because from what we are seeing, there are information available to us from sources we cannot doubt. that even the BK is hashing plan to run against Tinubu in 2027. And him being a man that says one thing and does the other, we will not be surprised if that happens. But I can tell you that the current governor who campaigned for Tinubu during the elections have also come to us, to all river stakeholders, to also appeal to us that in 227 we are supporting Tinubu. That is his message all over the place. 
even during this one year anniversary to commemorate this tenor, it is what is saying everywhere that we are supporting the president in the next election. It was the governor, the current governor that, you know, influenced reverse support to give the president that support. Yes, we can play this role. So having said that, the party, the party itself, if the party, you know, wants to do what is right, if they really want the growth of the party, those that hold sway today, they must be swift in what they have to do. Uh, yes, uh, just yesterday, I read a message from the National Publicity Secretary denying those allegations. But it was the case, too, when uh, Strange Names was found on the rivers list, the National War Organizing Secretary wrote a letter denouncing it. But in now, nothing has been done. So we don't want to do the more you look, the less you see. I we want decisive that. action that must be implemented immediately. I see many things. Because yes, they are filing a, a process in court. Who told you they cannot? Who told you they cannot that, that thing? Because money, this uh, led leadership of PPP, this current leadership of PPP, which we are yearning for their removal, money has been their hallmark. I they have see. sold their conscience. And I pity for them because the likes of those that are there. Money should not swear them if they if they if they have any out of integrity. Is left it, is it is it money really the problem in Nigeria when you think about all of our major problems? Uh, really, it's always about money, isn't it? At the end of the day, it always comes down to money and power. But like Bossy, many thanks for coming. I appreciate you for doing this with us.